hello everyone welcome back to my channel so today we are diving into configuring the rip timer so in the last lecture we have seen uh, what is rip how we ha we can configure rip uh, on routers so today we are checking how what is the impact or how we can reconfigure the timers of rip so in the last lecture we have learned that there are four type of timers one is update timer update timer is the interval after which update packets are sent so it is 30 second by default then there is an invalid timer so invalid timer is by default 180 seconds so this is a timer when destination router consider the route as invalid so the destination router then mark that particular hope as uh, 16 for that router so that is something called root poisoning where it declare that particular hope as 16th hope and it will consider as the down routes so by default it is 180 second then there is an hold down timer as per root timer that brings after a root has been declared invalid so once the root get in, uh, declared invalid it will wait for 180 seconds again so once that particular timer got uh, expired then it, that particular route will be flushed from that particular uh, router's routing table so the total time we, uh, for flushing the route from the routing table is 180 seconds plus 60 seconds so 60 second is the flush time so total time uh, which rip take to flush the route is 240 seconds so in the last lecture we have studied about the rip basic architecture how we can configure the rip uh, uh, rip in a net, small network so today also we are going to consider this particular topology so in this topology we are having three routers r1 r2 and r3 we are going to configure the ip addressing accordingly then we will create three loopbacks on each router we will configure the rip on each router we will first validate the reachability from r2 to r3 then we will modify the timers on router so we have already configured the topology we will start all the routers so once it got a start we will open the console of routers so now we are into the console of all three routers r1 r2 and r3 first we will do the ip configuration on r1 router so we will get into configure terminal then get into interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 then type IP address 12.1.1.1255.255.255.252 and no shut. Similarly, we will do it for interface F1 by 0. IP address will be 23.1.1.1.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.
12.1.1.1 and we will define the network 23.1.1.1 so we have so we have defined all the three networks so if we run command show IP protocol so we can able to see uh, that router rip is enabled on this particular router uh, which having three three networks and uh, the interfaces on which we have enabled the routing protocol so this will show you uh, show all the routing informations similarly we will do it on the router r2 so we have to type the command router rip version 2 no, no auto summary and then we have to define the network so now router r2 we have to define two network one is 12.1.1.1 and another one is 20.1.1.1 and we will define the second network also that is 20.1.1.1 similarly if we run the command show IP protocol so here we can able to see that it having two neighbors uh, two routing uh, so here we can so we, we can see that the router rip is enabled here also which having the invalid time invalid after time is 180 second whole time is 180 second and first time is also 240 second and next due in 10 second this means the next update will be forward in the 10 in 10 second if we refresh it it will show you the next uh, due time again here we have announced two networks 12.0.0.0 and 20.0.0 and you can able to see it already create a neighborship between 12.1.1 the next uh, r1 router it will it has already created the neighborship uh, with it similarly we will configure on the router r3 so this is router rip then version 2 no auto summary now we will define network so here network is 23.1.1.0 and uh, another network is 30.1.1.0 so if we run the same command show IP protocol so you can able to see we have defined these two network here uh, 23 and 30 network and it will show you the interface on which it is it got enabled so this way we have uh, we have configured the rip on all the three routers and it already create the neighborship with the router r1 also so now we will verify the routing informations so we will run the command show ip route so here you can able to see we uh, it already learned a route from uh, rip protocol for 20 and 30 network it already learned the route similarly we will verify on router r2 show ip route so it having the route for 23 and 30 network so and also it having the route for uh, reach, uh, reaching the 10.0.0.0 slash 24 network which is learned via rip so this is the ad value of rip and it is learned via rip so now we will check the ping ping from router r2 to r3 so we will ping 30.1.1.1 taking source as 20.1.1.1 so now you can able to see we can we are able to reach this particular destination uh, 30.1.1 using the source address of r2 so now we will modify the timers first we will look into the default timers so we will run the command do show ip protocol so here you can able to see sending update every 30 seconds so update timer is 30 second invalid after timer is 180 second whole time is also 180 second and it will flush the route after 240 seconds so it's a 180 plus 60 seconds so it this is the total time which it took to flush the route so now we will modify this timer so we will modify the timers so router rip then we have to define timer basic now if you put the question mark we have to define the update timer first let's say we will not modify the update timer we will modify the invalid after timer and uh, hold time and flush time so update time will be 30 only now if you put the question mark it will ask you for the invalid time let's say we will put the invalid time as 40 now we will now it will ask for so now it will ask for the whole time we will give the whole time for 10 seconds then we will 
give the flush time for 60 seconds so earlier it was 180 seconds so the total flush time will be 240 now we will modify it to 60 seconds so this is the timer we have configured on router r1 similarly we will configure it on r2 and r3 and then we will check uh, the uh, configurations so we will get into the configure terminal then router rip then timer basic then we have to define the update time first then invalid after time so invalid after time we will give 40 then we have to give the whole time and then we have to give the flush time similarly we will do for the router or r3 router rip timer basic router basics then we will give the update time after that invalid after time then we will give the whole time and then flush time now we will run the command show IP protocol now you can able to see the sending update each, every 30 second but the invalid time has modified from 180 second to 40 second similarly the whole time got changed and flush time got changed so this way uh, we, you can modify the timers in rip so you can also check uh, the check with the command show IP rip timers so this way you can able to see the actual timers which is going on so uh, if you refresh it it will show you the periodic update will be sent on after 22 seconds so this will uh, show you the in, in depth of the timers so here you can able to see there are three different uh, different periodic updates so this is for the interface two two is for the interface and one is for the loopback address similarly if you check on router r3 it will send the two periodic updates because it having the two network which is which we have uh, advertised on the uh, rip uh, one one is for the interface and one is for the loopback address and if you verify on the router r2 also uh, show ip rip timers so here also you can able to see there are two timers uh, periodic update timers as we have advertised two network on this particular router so this way you can modify the timers on the rip so agar time is the whole time we have configured it at 10 seconds so it will show it accordingly after 10 seconds it will automatically reset if you see right now it two second one second then again nine seconds it will keep on updating after 10 seconds so that's all for the today's video this is the quick guide to configure the rip timers on the cisco router so if you find this tutorial helpful give it a thumbs up share it with your networking peers and subscribe for more networking insights so stay tuned for our upcoming videos where we will explore more about the routing protocols and the networking concepts so until then enjoy and thank you so much for attending.